folks, this is Lauren Steiner here at the Farmer's Market in Los Angeles for a hashtag Reform LA Jails a signature gathering event. And my name is Bezad Dabu. I'm here to sort of raise awareness and collect signatures so that we can put an initiative on the ballot to try and vote and stop on a $3.5 billion uh, proposal for two jails to be built. Shailene, why are you here today? Um, I am here because Los Angeles County is home to more jails than anywhere else in the world, let alone nation. And they're about to spend $3.5 billion to build more jails uh, instead of putting that money towards health care, public housing, etc. We've already invested way too much in incarcerating people and especially, you know, for me that affects communities of color more than anyone disproportionately. Another dear cause to my heart is mental, uh, mental health and awareness around that and dis, uh, decriminalizing that and this would invest in alternatives to incarceration for mentally ill and homeless. You know, we have more more people in prison in this country than any other country in the world and we don't need to, especially with things like incriminalizing not having a home or a or being addicted to uh, drugs, which is a health issue, and those types of things. And it also gives subpoena power to the Civilian Oversight Committee. Right now, they don't have the power to ask for certain information um, for problematic behaviors in the prison system and the jail system. Um, and people, you know, die in prison. They have um, health issues in prison. They die of uh, die and get sicker of simple health problems. Um, Can I tell you about this initiative real quick? 30 seconds. Basically, there have been $3.5 billion of new jails approved to be built in LA County, which is already the largest jail system in the world. Um, so we're looking to divest from that and actually uh, investigate options for homelessness and mental uh, and mental illness. And then the second part of it is uh, to get actual um, the sheriff's, the civilian oversight board of the, of the sheriff, they have no power. So we want to grant them subpoena power. So this is to get it on the ballot so that we could actually vote on it in November. I'm doing this as a Los Angeles resident, as a, as a human being, as a white person. You know, I think it's incredibly important. You know, we live in a nation where uh, black and brown people are disproportionately incarcerated, and we have 25% of the entire world's prison population in our jails and prisons, and only 5% of the world's population. We need to actually deal with the root causes of what the problems are, which is the fact that we've got almost 60,000 homeless people right now living in Los Angeles. We don't have proper treatment for people who have uh, mental health issues. We have a terrible problem with accountability of both the LAPD and the Sheriff's Department, right? The, the former Sheriff Lee Baca and the under sheriff are both in jail now because they were uh, obstructing justice from the FBI investigating abuses into the uh, LA jail system. So we need some big changes and, and this um, this is going to get it for us. I, I went, became homeless because I, I uh, took a bad route in life and uh, I end up downtown Los Angeles on 5th and Town. Uh, and. I always had a family and a, and a place to go to, but I chose the streets over going to my family, the people who loved me. So when I actually, this time after coming out of prison, uh, I end up uh, sitting on my hands long enough between San Quentin Prison and Washington uh, Ridge uh, Camp, uh, which belongs to a CDF fire camp. I went there and became a baker. Uh, I got out not even six months ago, and I began to do something different. I began to take a look at my life and saying, did you know what? One day, the people that came down to feed me, the program called Love Without Reason, used to come down there and feed me, and I decided that when I got my life together, I would come back and give back what was so freely given to me. Uh, however, now I'm working in a cheesecake factory making $21 an hour. They hire a lot of guys who actually come from Skid Road and willing to give them a chance to change their life. So I go back and I reach back and feed them uh, three times a week down there. The program is called Love Without Reason. Uh, we don't have to have a reason to love somebody and to just give them something to eat to let them know that we care and we're giving them some hope. People's life can change with the encouragement from people who care. How do you find the people here at the farmer's market? Are they receptive to this message? I think the people that are registered voters are receptive to the message. I think most people are upset the fact that $3.5 billion of their own taxpayer money is being spent without their um, know-how. They didn't even know that it was happening.